I just wish my house was still there. Sheila Patton is driving with a heavy heart towards the place she used to call home. We just all stood up there on the road and just watched it burn to ashes. This is where the home Sheila grew up in used to stand. Her parents passed it down to her and nearly 60 years of memories have been reduced to rubble. This is the first time Sheila is seeing what she's lost to the watch fire that broke out in the San Carlos Apache Indian Reservation last week. And I just can't sleep at night. I just see the fire, the smoke every time I close my eyes. Not only did Sheila lose her home, the fire also destroyed three of her cars. Take a look at this. The glass is melted and just a few feet away, the fire also melted the metal from this bumper. Arson is suspected as the cause of the fire that ripped through more than 2,000 acres and took more than a dozen homes with it, including some of Sheila's neighbors. It's heartbreaking for everybody, especially for the people that lost their houses out there. Like her, dozens of families lost their home, cars, clothes, food and other possessions and are now staying at evacuation shelters and hotels, relying on donations to survive, all hoping they can one day rebuild. I don't know, it's going to take time though. And with people's prayers, I know a lot of people are praying, and I'm trying to pray myself too. Sheila says she lost a pet cat in the fire. She's grateful all her kids and family are safe and started a GoFundMe to help them get back on their feet. We're all together, that's the one thing that counts, you know. All my little family, I want to have seven all together. Was, well, at least we're together. Reporting in the San Carlos Apache Indian Reservation, Casey Torres for Arizona's family. Casey, thank you. The governor approved for.